Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And also welcome to day two of our sneaky peeks from our um, 114th edition release. I'm super excited because we are showcasing two brand new dies. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the first one. This one is going to be our freebie that would be going to the first 25 shoppers starting this Friday, which will be October 1st at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is it right here. It's our, as you, if you've been following me for a while, um, every couple of years I come out with like a little, a little different version of the Ho 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 die. Um, and this one's super cute because it has a little tree with little stars. Um, so this one's called the Ho 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 number three die. And again, this die will be given to the first 25 shoppers that come through this Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? So that's the first die we're, we're showcasing. Um, and the second die set, which I'm super excited because I actually designed this when I did the four inch circle dies. This is the three inch circle dies, okay? Now this set comes exactly like the other one. Um, comes with your base for your three by three card shape and then you have four um, stitched circles and also four emboss circles. Now what I did was I included because see on the four inch circle card dies those actually have a circle card add-ons which have the circle to make a perfect circle die. Um, a perfect circle card I should say. So this one I actually included it in there but I just didn't have room. So basically when you get this die it's going to look like that on the little packaging. I didn't have room so I put it in the back. Okay. Um, and then this is the three inch circle card dies. Okay. Now this, the reason why I wanted to, um, to actually come out with this because we have a three by three fancy envelope die and this will coordinate beautifully with this. Now remember we have that other one, the three by three trifold die, which is like a little square one. It's like a little trifold one. Um, so I figured, you know what, why not have a circle one that will go and it will fit beautifully into this cute, cutie patootie little 3x3 three three envelope right here, okay? So, let's see, what should we do first? Let's go ahead and do a quick project using our brand new HoHo -Ho number 3. Um, so basically, and we're actually, we're going to use both the, both the, the stamps for that, the, both of these sets. So when you cut it out, isn't that super cute? I love this. Um, so basically when you cut it out, what you're going to do, same like the four inch score, uh, circle one, you're going to go ahead and just score it right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to add the, um, the actual circle that the bigger circle which is actually three inches perfectly so we're going to add that on the front so this because you see how i'm saying how there's a little fold there i like to add this because it gives you like a, the perfect circle okay so we're going to go ahead and adhere that down i'm just using some soft pink cardstock i'm not sure exactly who this is from because I don't know, maybe I should start putting the names of it or keeping the packaging that's coming. I don't know, but definitely I don't keep the packaging because I take it off right away and I store it on my shelf where I usually keep all my paper. Okay, so this basically will just go perfectly like so. So now you have a perfect circle card. Okay, super adorable. Okay, so now we're, do we're just going to go ahead and just quickly put this together. So I cut out, and I'm using this paper that I used, I think I used it last year or the year before, and I found it, and I was so upset because I didn't get a chance to shop with for a Christmas um, pattern paper this year. So I went through my stash, and I have this Christmas Bells. It's by Dress My Craft. I totally forgot about this one and this one, and it kind of brings, like I said, I'm not a pink girl, but it brings me back to that pink theme that I was doing during Halloween absolutely love this and I actually got this all my pattern paper I actually get from scrapbook.com okay so this is one of the circles that do, do come in there I'm not going to pop anything up we're just going to go ahead and just put it flat now there's several things you could do with this okay with this little three by three circle you could actually 
use it as a little note card, put it in the envelope and give it to someone. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it this way so I can see where the top is. Um, there we go. Or you could go ahead and put a little hole up here, make it into a tag, and then you could put a little message on the inside if you want. Um, or you could go ahead and just, like I said, make it into a little note card. Or the third one was a topper. You could use it as a topper, okay? So what I did was I cut this out in some red shiny paper. Um, and then I also cut it out um, with some black foam. And we are going to go ahead and just use some glossy accents. And that's what I used to pop this up, just to give it a little bit of dimension here. And I love this adhesive. If you've been following me, you know this stuff will not move, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to get this on here really quick here. <laughs> I just absolutely love these. This little cir three inch circle die is super duper cute. So let me do this. There we go. Oopsie, let me put some on here too. All right, so let me get my little tweezers, pick it up a little bit better there, and let me open this again so I can see where the top is. There you go. And I like it because it kind of gives you a little bit of wiggle room to move it around if you want, if it's not in the correct spot. And I'm going to go ahead and just put these magnets are pretty darn strong because they are holding down that foam, okay? Um, I always get amazed on how strong those magnets are. So now what we're going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tuck this underneath here. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to touch it. And we're just going to go ahead and just tie a little piece of um, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, let me move it down just a tad. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and just tie this. Now, you don't want to tie too tight because it'll probably just rip the whole two pieces apart. I've done that before. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little ribbon here at the top. Really lightly. I'm not going to do it too tight. Let's see. I wish I had the shiny string, which, like I said, I haven't even, I didn't even get supplies like I wanted to, like I usually do. Time just got away from me. Okay, there we go. And I think this is done. Now look at how adorable that is. I mean, super duper cute. And then what you can do on the inside, just so you could write a little message if you're going to use this for a little miniature card to give to someone. You can even put this in their little little package or what you know, what have you, whatever you want. And you could go ahead and just put this on the inside here. So this way you could have a little white area to put your little message in. Okay, super duper cute. And then um, I know this envelope doesn't match, but we're going to go ahead and put it in here just so I can show you that it fits in here beautifully even though our little um, I'm going to tuck these little guys in I don't want to cut the little strings because I like them long but then <laughs> you may see them cut in the picture who knows okay so isn't that super adorable and that's super cute I love the way this came out and you could go ahead and put some like a washi tape there to um because I don't think you can mail this is way too small put a little washi tape there or you could put some velcro here and go ahead and you know put it in there um there's I mean I just absolutely love the way this came out okay so that is it for this project here okay there goes our little ho 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 see I want to show you how it stands up it looks so cute okay so now we are going to go ahead and put together the topper now remember the card I made yesterday okay remember this little um, card I made yesterday well I actually put together the turkey for you on camera so what I did was I used the smaller of the little um, leaf dies 
and I use a little, um, I have this, it's like a glitter, oh here it goes, it's like a glitter, no that's not it, it's a 6x6 six six glitter cardstock, and I think it's from DCWV, um, and it's a little card, and have it, these are all the little cute little colors in there. So what I do, I just add those to the bottom, and I, um, I cut out one of the circles from our 3x3 circle dies, and I put it in the back, okay? And then what I did was I just cut this out in white cardstock, and I put the perfect circle on there. And then what we are going to do, we are just going to go ahead and I put some little pumpkin candies in here. So we are going to go ahead and make a super quick topper with this, okay? And if you want to see the video, you could go ahead and watch um, yesterday's video on how I put the little turkey together, okay? So let's go ahead and get this on like so. And I'll kind of put this in the center. I think one should do. It's actually will be two because I kind of messed up on that. And then this is just going to go like so. Now how cute is that? Now I did not, I was, I was planning on making this turkey into some kind of little treat box. But I figured, you know what, I didn't only because, because I do have a turkey lollipop holder which is coming back in stock. By the way, it will be available the same time as the release. Um, I figured I already have a turkey lollipop and then this one and I knew I had this little I was coming out with this 3x3 three three little circle card die how cute is that and I knew I was coming out with this so I figured you know what let's just go ahead and um, just do it by himself so this way if you want to add him to a card you can so I think he's missing a little bow we're gonna I actually happen to have this bow on my desk I was supposed to use it yesterday for something and I didn't so we are going to go ahead and just put this, okay, so now that we got that on there, put that down, we're going to go ahead and just put this right here. And somebody did tell me in the comments that that little red thing is called a waddle, so thank you so much. Okay, there we go, super cute. All right, so let's just go ahead and just trim these up right there. And then that's it. A super cute, easy little topper you could throw together in no time. So those are my two projects for today, everybody. Um, head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. And also, don't forget to leave your... Um, comments on all of our blogs for a chance to win both of these sets okay I will announce all winners on my blog this Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time um, yeah and then that's it everybody so thanks so much for tuning in have a fabulous day and I will see you all back here tomorrow bye bye